Welcome back. Uh, this is Damien, and right now we are sitting at Fort Hagen. We have followed uh, Dogmeat to Fort Hagen, and we're going to go after Kellogg. I don't think I want to say that. That's good with me. We got some loot out of that. Alright. Oh, this thing is still acting up here. I don't know what to do about that either. Because if I accidentally double click on the jump button, it shoots me straight up in the air. Um, doesn't use action points or very little action points. And uh, yeah, I, I've got to figure out something we can do with that. But for now, we're just going to go with it. That's worth taking with it. Shut up, Preston. An enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting to run. Sigma, Omicron, Project Kellogg. Now, I used to have so much trouble running through here and trying to, uh, Gone. to get to the room with the elevator. And sometimes it still gives me trouble. If I haven't done it for a while, like, the elevator's down there in that room. Um, nice. Uh, I don't think I want to pick their armor up right now. Kellogg and I picked up that chest piece. I don't want to pick that up. I will get, um, I'll tell you what, let's do that. I'm going to keep that. Those are awesome looking. Uh, let's put the leather up. Buffalo. Blah, blah, blah. This is the pack stuff. That uh, This is the pack stuff that I got just outside with the random encounter. Uh, let's put the Raider leather. We don't need that. And there's the chest piece. I'm going to have to set a beacon up here in a minute. I mean, no way around that. But, uh, and that's the open face synth helmet. I don't like it either. Uh, we don't need it for right now. It would appear my target has disappeared. Sensors available. I will advise you, please. Ooh, that's a gun. Wow. 
Unfortunately, it probably doesn't do that much damage. That's one of the, uh, the eye up. Uh, the mob with the eye up. Uh, shotgun, stuff like that. Uh, and normally, it's n they're, they're not great weapons. Well, I mean, I'm sitting here just shooting at you, son. See you later. And we hit level 40. Nice. Why are we still in danger? Yeah, that's the WH-77. I'm going to pick it up. I want to have a look at it. Ah, synth field helmet. I like the synth field helmet. Uh, let's see. I don't care about that. Now, I mean, some of this is really good armor. I'm not going to lie, but um, I just don't want to take it with me at the moment. Uh, I do need that mine. Whenever I get down to the cafeteria, I'm going to need mines. And honestly, we may go ahead and set up uh, a beacon here. Yeah, we may go ahead and set the beacon up right here. Um, and also, I know I didn't clear everything out, but uh, that's okay, too. Sometimes I just run through here, get to Kellogg, and get the thing done. Press, you gotta get out of the way, son. Again, I'll be so glad when I get him maxed. And I'm also, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, uh, everybody hates Preston. They really do. Uh, and it's all, it's all about when Preston, you know, when the game first came out, Preston was like, uh, there's another settlement that needs your help. I'm marking on your map. And he would do that five, six, seven, eight, ten times. Um, there was one time I remember that I had six settlement quests all at the same time. And that's what pissed people off. They they couldn't stand it. And Preston had to be patched so that he would stop doing that. And there's even a mod now uh, that will go further and not shut the quest all the way down, but just make it where you very seldom get quests from him. Like, I haven't gotten a what quest from him in a long time. <clears throat> Hey. How are you feeling about things? Never a dull moment. Okay, good. He doesn't have anything to say. Nothing else for now. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, um. Hostile sensor reading detected. Ah, I can present. Hello? Time to kill you both. And synth components have gone back to being just plastic now because I took off Charles's mod. I'm going to try another overhaul on the next Let's Play I do. But uh, for right now, I think I'm pretty much done with uh, overhauls for this one for sure because I don't want to put another overhaul on here and test it out and then screw the game up. Um, so I feel like we were lucky that whenever I took Charles's overhaul off, it didn't, um, it didn't screw with my game, and, uh, I'm not gonna basically push my luck with it. Really? Oh, uh, boy. Alright. And that's why I have console commands in survival. Because a lot of people are like, console commands in survival is cheating. No, it's not. Not with this game, it's not. You can just take that and shove it up your ass. It ain't cheating. Nice. Uh, well, Preston, did you just you push me that. around? Uh, 
Okay. Um, that's really all I care about. I'll get that fan back there in a second. Let me... Oh, I can't. I can only command him now. Usually I can, uh... Usually I can access his inventory. Let's stand up. Can I access... Oh, are you... There we go. Okay. Uh, give me that. Keep that. Give me that freaking Molotov again. All right. I've taken that Molotov away from him so many times. And he just gets it back. That has to do with the mod Better Companions. Uh, you know, your companions are smarter, supposedly, and better with their weapons. They get better weapons, uh, you know, do more damage, all that good stuff. And the thing is... Um, it gives Preston that Molotov over and over and over. And, um, that's why I get hit with that thing so often. Let's go ahead and open this. Nice. All right. That was luck. All right. And now we've got the doors open. There are some uh, 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 ammo and, and uh, uh, drugs in here. I, I People say don't use the word drugs in your videos because of YouTube's algorithm, but it is what it is, man. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up a beacon now before we go down. I, every time I say that, I find something else. Yeah, every time I say that, I find something else. Okay. Because we're sitting at 624, 635, and we're about to go downstairs, so, yeah. Yeah, the I loved on on Charles's overhaul the synth component. It was like three different uh, materials, and they were useful materials. Now they're all back to plastic again. But um, uh, all right, that was red. That's done, and that's all. We keep those four. I don't know why I picked that folder up, but oh well. Uh, let's, yeah, we've got one beacon left, so we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to be pretty careful. <clears throat> I need to make sure I have good food, too. Um,. Inside. I'm gonna have to make some more psycho jet and stuff when we get back. Like I said, I keep the soups uh, because they're food and water. That is something you always need to remember um, when you're playing survival. I was carrying a lot of armor, but uh, whenever I saw the pack there, you know, I wanted to go ahead and grab that armor. Uh, we're going to keep the mines on us. Okay, 
I make no nah, I don't need that. That is five millimeter does eighty nine damage. So I mean it's not horrible, but I think that is a light submachine gun, I think. So yeah. Oh, uh, okay, got a pistol, 10 mil, okay, this is all going to go to the castle, okay, now we're ready to start hearing from Kellogg. course pressing didn't make the elevator ride for this so all right now here's the trip wire there it is okay I mean, my sneak is maxed out, so he should not detect any new presence. Oh, come on. Quit breaking. Sweet. Those are heavy, but I'm going to take them. Reduces damage while standing and not moving. That's not too bad. Now, that's something else I was actually going to talk about. Because, you know, I have this legendaries on everything here. And I'm just kind of hoping that it's not interfering with the actual legendaries in the game. You know, getting legendaries and all that good stuff. Damn it, Preston. Now, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. Hmm. Why is this, this door is open and that trap is triggered? Um okay always grab beer when you can always there are some recipes with beer and that's it they are few and far between you can get Gwen at all you want but actual just beer is a little bit bit uh, harder to get your hands on. That's got a gear in it, so I'll take it. Now, to be quite honest, <clears throat> I don't have a lot against Kellogg. I mean, yeah, he killed the spouse in the game, kidnapped the baby, but he was following orders from, you know, the Institute. And when you see his history, 
<clears throat> excuse me, he's had a rough history himself. So, you know, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to blow him away. And I'm going to enjoy doing it. But I don't have this, uh, Never expected you to come I don't have this intense door. hate for him that some people do. Odds of making it to I mean, After you know. That, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. What are you going to do with that? Uh. Hostile sensor reading. Whoever or whatever you are. Ah, uh, screw it. Kill him, get him out of the way, and then shoot this guy. <laughs> And Kellogg is right there. Hit during the war. Seems like it would have been a prime. I mean, he is right freaking there. Just watch it. I'll take the field helmet. And the synth field helmet and metal armor looks really, really good. I, I like, I like the way they look. Uh, some of the synth armor I don't like. It, it just, meh. Some of it looks okay, especially once you get into the heavier synth armor. It looks really good. But, uh, you know, just the, uh, the regular little armor, not so much. Look, you're pissed off, I guess. Shin here? It's not gonna go your way. Those three fusion cores are going to be a little bit heavy. Don't know if I can hack this or not. Oh, it has one. Move through. Okay, then. We're going to deactivate the turrets. Now, a lot of times, whenever I hit for this door, it just gives me an error message. Yeah, see, it does this. Just blank. So I don't know what that, uh, I don't know what that door is for, but, uh, eh. Come on. Well, that was a stutter. Let's go ahead and eat and drink then. Let's see here. I'm still a little hungry though. There we go. Alright, that turret's off. It shouldn't bother us. There, uh, right there. That should do it for this one. Oh, now I'm tired and need sleep. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, but... That should take care of that for just a bit. Coming? Enemy may be utilizing 
hostile. How interesting. Wow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ten millimeters really good against sense too, for whatever reason. It's not good against super mutants and uh, robots at all. But uh, for small stuff, it's really good. Uh, sense, dogs, uh, you know, uh, mole rats, small stuff like that, humans. That's three batteries I've found so far. And I'm being just a little bit more selective now because I, I don't want to get don't want to get over and covered. I do have one more uh, signal beacon. So. Okay, now here is where I want the, the um, rag mines, because I'm going to go through that door, and I'm going to go back there, and you can see it from here. There's a bobblehead right there. When I pick that bobblehead up and I go into the kitchen, there's going to be scents coming through here. So, I want to get prepared... For those sense. It's hard to believe they really needed all of this to defend themselves. Get out the way, Press. I'm looting. Get out the way. This guy, man. This guy. Alright. And now, here we go. Energy weapons. Bobblehead. It's always right there on the table. There went a bunch of mines. Now, the funny thing is, the mines that I laid out, we might get one cent done up with that. There's probably going to be two to get through it, you know, something. Something along those lines. I, I've never gotten all of them. But I did actually put out seven mines. And another thing is, when your mines blow up, they usually blow up a lot of them within range. Look, there's a dead cent. So let's check and see how many we got. I'll go ahead and take the damn line. Screw it. All right. Well, that one's still there. And then the trouble is remember where he put them all. Food. Looks like, strangely enough, we got them all. I guess they aren't going to need that anymore. I guess there's a first time for everything, right? All right. Now you can get some uh, some meds in here, some radix right away, some aluminum. Because there's aluminum trays all in here. Uh, I say all in here, right there where I was just at. And then the Radaway and Radex over there, so. And then you just come down here. A lot of people forget this. There is a quantum here, but there's a key in that, uh, there's a key in that toolbox that you can get in. 
and I always get in that room, get the fat man, and blow Kellogg up because I don't like Kellogg. You got guts. Don't hate him. Um, you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. But uh, you know the boys got to go. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Now that is going to be a sniper rifle. A VATS enhanced sniper rifle. That's nice. Oh, that was a field helmet. Yep, look at that. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. You can almost hear the fear in his voice now. And this room has more, more medicine. And stuff. Oh God! Every time, man, it has to break every time. Nice. Oh, that's so irritating. That, that. Couple of stem packs, but the real creme de la creme. Yes. It's right there. How much must sit in that here? Four fifteen, we're good. Right. <clears throat> I will pick up a little bit of ceramic there and we get another book. That makes us a little bit more sneaky. And there should be yeah, it's locked. Grab that. That's it. All right, and we are now in the end game. Okay, you made it. Of course, I made it. I've only done this Sweet. seven times. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Why did I pick up the boulders? Why? Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Uh, most everybody's seen this stuff. I don't talk with him. I just go in there and take care of business because... He's long-winded, and sometimes, um, sometimes it kind of bugs out when you talk to him, and you can't go, and you'll just get one shot. So I don't usually, I don't usually talk. I hear a lot of talk about the railroad, helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. I'm going to let you go hang out with them for about a month. And then see. We got one shot. There she is. I got something over here. There goes his Molotov again. All right. Get out 
the way, fool. I blew Kellogg to pieces. All right, two stem packs, three stealth boys. It's pistole. That's probably going to be my new, uh, you know, probably going to be my new sidearm. I don't know. Which, when you open these doors, it closes the other doors and you can't go back the other way. So when you open those doors, you have to go out here and take the elevator. Nice. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it closes doors that way, opens this door here, so that you can get access, um, and of course, then you, you know, you see the Brotherhood of Steel coming out. Come on, Preston. So, I mean, I was taking my time and talking through the whole thing and all that, and it, it took about 35 minutes. Uh, you can do it in 12 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. It's not that, it's not that complicated. And there he is standing with his Molotov in his hand again. Oh, it's dark. Yeah. I can't see shit. <laughs> Total world domination. Total world domination, my friend. I will give it to them. They, they do know how to make an entrance. Yes, indeed. there I tweak sleeping bags too by the way So you can get a full night's sleep with sleeping bags now. And if you want to know why, go camping. Just go camping. You go camping, you climb up in your sleeping bag, and you can sleep for eight hours with no problem. I've done it plenty of times. Okay, Cars of Diamond City. But so is Nick, and he's probably going to want to talk to us on that. Matter of fact, I know he's going to want to talk to us. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff going off now. Uh, let's see. Do I need food and water, I think? Let's get some. Let's see. 
still parched. Hmm. Here we go. All right. Now I've killed a whole bunch of stuff here. They're still going. I slept for eight hours and they're still going. I do love the story when you get there, if you if you side with the Brotherhood, or if you just join the Brotherhood and start doing quests for them, and you get the quest to go investigate their missing supplies, and uh, the female knight is talking about, you know, the Pridwin coming into the airport under full vertebrate support. You know, you're dropping out of the helicopters, or the, the vertebrates in this case, with your power armor, and you're killing all the ghouls and stuff. And it just reminds me of... Um, you know, coming into targets, helicopters, air assaulting down, and, you know, all that good stuff. So that is pretty cool. And I don't know why I keep getting the same message over and over again. Um, that's really weird. Oh, I have an infection. Well, isn't that cute? I did not see I had an infection when I looked. All right, are we all better now? Yeah, we're all better now. Yeah, I, I didn't see an infection there. That was weird. Now, I have avoided a lot of um, the other, like, Forest Grove Marsh and uh, that town over there. So, um, we're going to start hitting some of those up and stuff. But now, we have reached mid-game. Once you bring out the Brotherhood... Wait. Was that an explosion? Yes, that's an explosion. Have the Super Mutants come back? That is... What is that? Oh, uh... that's a robot um but yeah once you bring out the brotherhood of steel uh airship you oh god oh god oh god oh god yeah you have reached mid game so um i still can't get him in vats either good i've got to fix this man All right. I can't hit a speed of four. There we go. Oh, it's a gunner. No chance to hit. Yeah, that's a random encounter. Sometimes they'll have a vertebrate and never really tells you where it comes from either. So. Can I knock it out of the sky, please? No, apparently not. That crit just did nothing. nothing to worry about. Yeah, 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 there it goes. And for whatever reason, we're in danger. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Like junk to me. Uh, yeah, I'll take the black room last one, too. Alright, um... Where did it? Oh. Now, how do I have a Brotherhood Lancer right here? Brotherhood Lancer and a Vertibird. Two gunner. What did they kill him and take the Vertibird away from him? Where's his team? You know, where where are the knights that were supposed to be in the Vertibird? You know. Right. 
the distress signal failed, but um, ah, too worried about that at the moment. So I guess the gunner pilot is just gonna be gone. No, that's how it works. That's how it works. All right, in order to fast travel, we need to get back to Diamond City, but we need to get to Diamond City anyway to talk to Nick and progress the storyline just a bit for the memory den and all that good stuff. So, uh, not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Um, So for now, um, we're at 45 minutes. We've uh, killed Kellogg and we brought the airship in. So we'll be able to progress progress the game a bit better now. And I'm still not sure how long I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. How long I'm going to, you know, just... Um, prolong the... Uh, the main storyline. There's one of my supplies. Uh, I may get bored and go to Fallout, Fallout, Far Harbor. I may get bored and go to Far Harbor, um, or start Nuka World or something like that. I'm not going to be any kind of a raider kind of person. Uh, as soon as I get in the Nuka World, I'm just going to make a deal with the, with the uh, the slave in, in the uh, marketplace. Yeah, you're going to stay in fact. I'm going to make a deal with the slave in the marketplace and just start wiping out raiders man i do have plans to do a raider let's play but uh, not sure when i'm gonna do that uh but for now we're gonna call this one i'm gonna do a quick save here Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been Damien. I will catch you on the next one and have a great day.